Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be setting up my planner for the start of my academic year 2022-2023 July through June planner. Before I started I wanted to show kind of what my planner setup looks like on the daily. I have this little basket and I keep my pens etc my planner and then some sticker books. This is a journal um, to document things for my son and then this is an undated um, weekly planner in the event that I need it. I hardly use the weekly but even in case of emergency, I guess I have an undated weekly down here as well. Um, so this usually stays in the kitchen and everything else is upstairs where I am currently, where I am ready to begin. So I am going to put this to the side. I'm going to take out my current planner, take out my pens and things and put the rest on the floor here. Actually, I'm going to keep out, there's some script stickers in here and I think that's all that I'll use. I also have to the side of me my 2022-2023 academic calendar and then I also have some sticker books that are just like seasonal fun things, happy year, a student planner, planner basics, seasonal and squad goals. Um, I actually, I might want to pull out squad girls too or squad, oh my gosh, they're both called squad goals. This is why I get confused. Ha. Okay, this is like the original one and then this is a later one. Um, but these are just kind of like seasonal fun sticker books that will help me get ready for my new daily. Um, I do purchase the daily in a six month. It's quite small here. I don't add any add-ons. I have previously, but I don't use them. So I don't need to make my planner bigger than it needs to be, basically. Um, this is today's spread. I am right now on film planner setup. So I want to set up my planner very similarly to how I have it set up currently. So I'm pretty much just going to go page by page and copy it, I think. So here goes. I don't think I've written anything else in this planner yet. Oh, that's a lie. I did do some passwords and I'm not silly to like actually write down the password, but these are just like clues for me. So that's the only thing that I've written so far in here. Everything else is clean. So I think this, it might be a flare pen or a Sharpie. I think I'm going to use the Sharpie just because I like the way that the Sharpie writes. So July through December. 2022. Wish I started that over a little bit, but oh well. And I always think about what color to do, but I'm just going to go plain Jane and do gray again because gray matches everything. So here I am going to, I thought it was so cute the way that I decorated before. So I'm going to decorate this again. This planner was just this page and this planner is now this page, but I'm still going to decorate both because, because I want to. Um, so let's start with this side first. So these dates are all exactly the same because they've already happened. I'm going to use I think I have a smaller one. What is this? Yep, this is an 05 um, Pentel, so I'm going to use the skinny one to mark in here what these days are. All right, now for the fun part. Let's get some stickers. I don't think I want to put any girls in this first page, so let's go to Happy Year. Would not be using Christmas right now. Flamingos would be fun. Ooh, popsicles would be fun. All right, let's do a pink popsicle for summer break. And I wonder where that cute bunny was. Let's look in another one. Let's go into seasonal. And, okay. Let's do... Is there more birthday... All right, I'm gonna do, this feels excessive, but. I'm gonna do that and then cut it, obviously. And I was gonna see if I could use the other side in August for my son's birthday, but I think August is on this side of the paper. And it won't transfer, but we'll see. Oh. 
Mm, it doesn't feel special enough for his first birthday. So we'll just move on right along. All right, I want something for Easter. Let's see, I had just like a little Easter guy. So let's go to the spring section. I don't love that bunny, but we can do carrot. Or should we do the Easter egg? I want it something here-ish. Maybe I should just do the flowers or April showers. I think I want to do a carrot. Oh, I like this too. Okay, let's do an egg and a carrot. Woohoo. All right, that's fun. Now let's flip it. Oh, you know what I just noticed? There's like dark here and here. It's more more loose. I did notice the font change. All right, anyway, squirrel. Let's go here. We're actually not going on this vacation anymore, so I'm not going to transfer that over. I do have a dentist appointment the 21st, but I won't mark that there. All right, I need some more holly jolly celebrations here. So, oh, that would have been cute, the sand castle. Oh, I guess I could still put it in July. That feels so large, though. Um, I'll do this watermelon, though. Let's look for something from fall now. There's a cute bunny. I don't like that. And I'm not super in love with these options either. It does not snow where we are, but this might be what did I do? I'm just gonna put it there. That's not bad. So I think instead of obsessing over it, just gonna let it be. I do wish I had a pencil, but what can I do? All right, I'm going to test that. Oh, it is a little runny. All right, well, I'm just going to hope for the best here. These special dates are birthdays, holidays, things that never change. And then at the bottom, I put like appointments. I don't really feel like doing that on the camera. So I'm going to flip on over. Never use this. A follower before said to put like meal plan ideas. And I love that, but I never use it. So I'm going to leave that blank. And I don't need to set up July. Um... And I don't really use these back pages for anything. So I guess, oh, you know what? I'll put the rest of the days off back here. And then I think I would consider this planner set up. Half day. Work day. So technically I should have circled this for the first day of summer, but you know what? I'll put like a little summer sticker there to tell myself. Oh. Okay, let me look in that sticker book again in a second. Um, summer sticker. Maybe I'll use the sandcastle here, even though it's like so big, I'm not gonna use it anywhere else. I'm gonna put this, <laughs> I'm gonna put this literally right over June to show that the whole month of June is the start of our summer, how fun. Okay, I could put in our birthdays and stuff again. I guess I will. Um, I was flipping through and I saw in here that there were some fall stickers, so maybe I can use one of those because I was feeling like empty in the front. But these are so huge, but you know what? It doesn't really match like the other style of sticker, I guess, but 
we'll put that there and now I feel more complete. He he. I would use one of these, but I don't like that it's on a black randomly. So, all right. I would consider my personal planner now set up. Upon reflection, this video is kind of boring. I didn't set much up besides the at a glance in the beginning and then at the back, but keep it simple, people. This is my A5 Daily Plum Paper Planner. I hope that you enjoyed the setup, and if you're interested in my work planner video, that'll be coming soon.